According to court records on September 10th, 1985, at approximately 5.15 p.m., Raymond Fife left home on his bicycle to visit a friend, Billy Simmons. After learning that the 12-year-old had not arrived at his friend's home by 5.50, Fife began, Fife's family began searching for him. Raymond Fife's father found his son more than four hours later in a wooded field behind the Value King supermarket on Palmyra Road in Warren, Ohio. The child was naked and appeared to have been severely beaten and his face was burned. Raymond's underwear was tied, found tied around his neck and appeared to have been lit on fire. Raymond died in a hospital two days later. The coroner ruled, who ruled Raymond's the death on a homicide, testifying before the trial that the victim had been choked and had a hemorrhage in his brain. The coroner also said that Fife sustained several burns, damaging damage to his rectal bladder area and bite marks on his penis. Through testimony from three Warren West Reserve High School students, the jury learned that Danny Lee Hill and Timothy Combs were in the area of Value King and the bike trails on the evening of Raymond Fife was assaulted. One of the students has also seen Fife riding his bike in the store parking lot. A student who says, who said who he saw Combs on a trail said he also heard the, a child's scream. Another student said he saw Combs pulling up his zipper of his blue jeans. Two days after Fife was found, Danny Lee Hill, who was 18 at the time, went to the Warren Police Station to inquire about the $5,000 reward that was being offered for information concerning the murder. According to the police sergeant, Thomas Stewart, Hill told him that he had just seen some, someone he knew riding Fife's bike when Stewart asked Hill how he knew the bike belonged to Fife. He replied, I know it is. Sergeant Stewart testified that during the, their conversation, it became apparent that Hill knew a lot about the bike and the underwear that was found around Fife's neck. On the following Monday, September 16th, Hill went to the police station accompanied by his uncle, Warren Police, Depart police Detective Morris Hill. Police saying after waiving his Miranda rights, Danny Leal Hill admitted on audio and videotape that he was present during the beating and sexual assault of Raymond Spike, but that Timothy Combs did, did everything to the victim. Combs was event, eventually convicted of felonious, felonious pen, sexual penetration, arson, rape, kidnapping, and aggravated murder. Since Combs was 17-year-old at the time, he was not eligible for the death penalty and is serving a life sentence. Combs died in prison in 2018. Good. Hill was also convicted on the same charges, but since he was 18 and 18 years old at the time, Fife was assaulted. He was sentenced to death. Hill has several unsuccessful appeals. The most notable on which he claimed that he was mentally retarded and not subject to the death penalty. Well, that's just too damn bad. I've been waiting for this son of a bitch to die for a long time. I was in high school at this time. I knew his, his cousin and Lori Fife, and I went to school with her. And this son of a bitch sit there and played these games all these times, and his, his death date was sent. He was sentenced to a death date now. There was some other person. I remember in, in court or in, on the news about five years ago, that there was another guy who was going to be put to death. He was claiming he was mentally retarded. Now, I'm going to say mentally retarded because that's, all, that's what it is. He's saying he claims he's mentally retarded, and then he changed his plea and says, no, he just wants to be put to death. When he was asked, he says, I was just afraid to be put to death. That's all. I was just playing. And that's exactly what that piece of crap Danny Lee Hill is doing. On Columbus, Ohio, the Supreme Court on Wednesday, July 22nd, 2026, as the execution date for Denny Lee Hill, a Trumbull County man convicted of murdering 12-year-old boy in 1985. However, it is unclear whether Hill will be put to death on that date or at all, given Ohio's long 
difficulties with obtaining lethal injection drugs, Governor Mike DeWine has repeatedly pushed back the execution dates for several death row inmates while in office. Hill 55 was convicted of aggravated murder, rape, kidnapping, and arson in 1986 for beating, sexually strangling, sexually assaulting, and strangling Raymond Fife of Warren. Now, <clears throat> July 22nd, 2026, if this goes all to plan, I'm going to be drinking a beer and having a party. People might think that's cold, callous, you know, irresponsible, immoral. I don't care. This scum needs to leave this planet and he can't get, he can't die fast enough. Or you know what? You know what they should do? And don't, don't do anything. Just cut his arms off and legs off with a saw and just let him bleed out. There you go. Some people might think that's cruel, unusual. You know, it didn't happen to your son. If you're, if it had, if he did this to your son or grandkids, would you have, oh, we, we can't kill him. We can't kill him. Would you have this sympathy then? No. No, you wouldn't be saying crap like that. The death penalty is in place for scum like this that doesn't need to be alive with anybody, even, even in prison. He can't, he can't be, he, just kill him tomorrow. One bullet, that's all you need. That's what, that's what the death penalty should be. One bullet, here's your gun. You sit in this room and you do it yourself. That way, nobody else is to blame. You sit in this room with that gun as one bullet, and then that's it. If you want two, that's fine. It, this scum, he needs to die. That's all there is to it. I'm telling you. I've been waiting that this long, and I can't wait for this day, because I'm going to have a nice big beer. See you in the next one.